Where are we? Ask a policeman. There's a good old English letterbox, but have a guess. Where can we be? Once again, Pathé Pictorial provides a magic carpet which whisks your way to an unsuspected wonderland. You've seen the British policeman. You posted your wish you were here letter in a familiar letterbox. And now you find yourself on the rock, Gibraltar, just a few hours from home. But what's an old rock-bound garrison colony like Gibraltar got to offer us in the way of youthful diversion? Can there be beauty? Could there be fun on a ridge of rock just two and a half miles long? Well, have a look. You are at a place where fantastic contrast and surprising loveliness have become the order of the day. Because we've made this fortress into a pleasure garden, simply by catching and conserving on this great edifice the gentle rain that falls here in short seasons. Millions of gallons of water are caught and stored in the course of the few sharp downpours that occur. The result? The most colourful corner that you can find in the whole of this wide, wide world. Gibraltar. Did you ever imagine that this tiny, tactical British colony could be a playground like this? Did you ever realize that this strategical rock was not an arid garrison town, but an oasis of utter charm? You have come to the one place in this world where the splash of 20th century living is linked inextricably with famous history. Sir George Augustus Eliot, the governor of Gibraltar, who fought off a four-year siege 200 years ago by shooting red-hot cannonballs at the Spanish ships which were trying to starve him out. The Garden of Government House is a garden of glorious memory, just as the Trafalgar Cemetery is a national shrine. Here's where they brought the men who died in Nelson's great battle for the burial that gave them immortality. The Trafalgar Cemetery is the place where the Barbary apes make their disdainful contact with the human world. They are the only Barbary apes in Europe, and legend says that if they die out, Britain will lose its famous rock. So the apes are given all sorts of liberty. Where on earth could history take such romantic form? What museum could there be to compare with Gibraltar, the history book that puts all the international problems of today in a tidy nutshell? Because look, Spain and the frontier, and the no man's land that's been scribbled across this bit of land. The rock, the sea, and an iron barrier that man has had to build. Just join the day-to-day -day drama that a frontier involves, here at the shortest and most compact frontier in existence. Look at those bags they're carrying across the frontier, those Spaniards who come to work in Gibraltar every day. They take bread back home, from the rock fortress where there's no room to grow any wheat, to a wheat-growing country where bread, nevertheless, is both scarce and dear. That's what a frontier can mean. That's what turns a British policeman into a continental. But don't be an ass. Don't leave Gibraltar without taking a galley ride down Main Street, because Main Street Gibraltar is the center of the universe. Not long ago, when Gibraltar still had enough space to spare for a race course, these galley horses did their taxi job during the week and then turn themselves into racehorses at the weekend.
Today, Main Street Gibraltar is the most fascinating shopping centre you'll find anywhere. They'll sell you a suit made to measure in 24 hours and at a quarter the price you'll find in Britain. Remember that next time you're here. And when your galley ride is over, ask a policeman where you should go to find colourful life in the open air. flowers, bullfights across the border, and all the bustle of the marketplace. This is the hub of the holiday land we have found, hidden away behind a garrison town. Fish you'd expect, here where communities of fishermen have lived round the sandy bays that dot the Great Rock since Phoenician and Roman times. It's the sweetest fish you've ever tasted, and you wash it down with the driest of Spanish wines. You can go out and catch it yourself. The deep sea fishing competition at Gibraltar attracts the top anglers of the world each year. This is a quayside scene that has been repeated here at Jib through sunny centuries. It's hard to realize that this is a great naval bastion and a big ship bunkering port. Five hundred yards away from the waters where ocean liners anchor is Rosia Bay the sleepiest of surprises. Above and around it, you'll find wild olive groves and a wilderness of stone pine trees. You can walk and climb for hours on this crowded rock of Gibraltar in perfect solitude. 250 years ago, we captured Gibraltar and turned it into a mighty bastion. But all the time, we've been turning it, too, into an enchanting plantation of flowers. The sunset at Gibraltar is one of the true wonders of this colorful world. Thank you.